Long Beach, California, and the Champ Car Racing season is underway. With auto racing tracks located all across the United States, the team coach has become indispensable for following the circuit. I'm Peter Murphy. My wife and myself have been driving this, not this exact vehicle, but a vehicle for Newman Haas Racing for 19 years. To those of us not on the dream RV circuit, that would be Paul Newman, actor, charity fundraiser, and race car driver. Transporting his coach from race to race is Peter Murphy's job. Specifically designed to drive probably a million miles with 50 people on it, but we use it to drive down the road with myself and my wife. But we do it for Paul Newman and Carl Haas. They have never turned a wheel on this thing, and we're not too sad about that. We enjoy it. Newman's brief to Coach Builder Marathon was plenty of room and keep it simple. Money was no object. We have storage compartments, which obviously we need for everything. We moved back here. That's an over-the-road air conditioning compartment. And right here is our, our plumbing compartment, uh, which obviously is very neat. Very well done. The racing bug struck Paul Newman back in 1969 when he starred in a movie called Winning, based around the Indy 500. He was wonderful, and he got hooked, he loved it, and he still loves auto racing. Just absolutely has a passion for it, which is great. Newman's coach tows a fully commercial kitchen. He's customized his RV to be corporate headquarters trackside. That means entertaining dozens of sponsors and corporate clients. Well, we have turkey pesto, we have some risotto, we have some vegetables, we have two different salads, and then you can also drink some of the diesel fuel. On race days, it's all business on the track and alongside the team coach and kitchen where under shelter, the legendary Newman Haas hospitality is in full swing. It's one of the few quiet places you can find here in a race weekend. And uh, when there are sponsors and uh, people that you want to be able to spend some quiet time, it really is very valuable. Drivers can use it to relax. Food is always good. I just got my learner's permit for it. I'm, I'm not too sure the size and the weight, but I'll do my best. Peter has another driving job, delivering food to the race crew hard at work in the garage. It's the first race of the season, and the whole team is fully focused. No time to leave, so food comes to them. Race drivers are fussy eaters. They won't touch anything that could disturb the job at hand. It is very good. It's always very good. Everyone all down their grid is pasta, pasta, and usually it's with just a little bit of olive oil, and sometimes just olive oil, not even tomato, because of the car, they can't be bloated. You know, you get strapped in, so we, we try to keep them happy. <laughs> Can I do something to help, or am I just in everybody's way? <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Oh, we are using your salad dressings that we will uh, be using all weekend, and always do. Preparing 300 meals on a race weekend is not unusual. Neither is seeing the boss in the kitchen. Team taster, perhaps? The team would not even be able to function without this kitchen. The team would go straight downhill. Thank you. Giving the profits from the Newman's own food business to charity and education is well known. Millions of dollars allocated every year for those in need. The race day food isn't wasted either. Any of our leftover food, we um, donate to the homeless. Each race we do that, so it makes us feel good. It's good for the people here that need it, and everybody's happy. So sometimes it's nice to have a lot of leftovers. Paul Newman catches most race meetings. Only a movie role would stop him from showing up. And a lot of it is, is for the moral support of the team. He loves the team. He loves the guys that work there and we all love him. So, into the RV. Newman didn't want bedrooms. He put a slide out at the front for a stateroom and another at the rear for his lavishly fitted office, the private domain of the star. All right, all right, come on aboard. 
Here we are. Welcome to our Marathon Yacht on Wheels. And um, this is basically the rear lounge, which will seal off to be a, uh, a great meeting room. And it's also a very relaxing room. We have some nice soft chairs over here. And there is one of our bosses that basically sits here with a newspaper over his head and enjoys himself. That door will seal off. And even at a race where there are 100,000 people, he is very relaxed. Who's that? That might be Mr. Newman. On race day, they can get three separate television signals. What we do normally at a race is we have one on timing and scoring, which is fed to us. We have one on the live feed on the track. And then we have one on the satellite. OK, moving from the rear lounge, we have the toilet on the left. Down here, we have an automatic dishwasher. And over to the right, we have our trash compactor. And here's a full oven. Newman's onboard second kitchen doesn't get as much use as his outside addition, but it does come in handy. With, uh, oh my god, it's Newman's own popcorn inside. Oh, here. What do you think, guys? Do you think we ought to, I think we ought to have one of these. Put it up here in the microwave and see what happens. I think it's working. All right. Looks like this is done. Beautiful popcorn. Perfect every time. I'll get back to that. Popcorn aside, Newman's coach is a working vehicle. Let me take it to my office now. What we have here is uh, every system that you could possibly have and monitoring. And it tells us that we're on the ramp at uh, the Rancho Mirage, California, latitude 33 degrees, 44 minutes and 28 seconds. All you have to do is just point and drive. They do a beautiful job. Everything's at your fingertips. Anyways, it's like driving Cadillac. And that's what I love about it. In case you're wondering, Paul Newman isn't just a fan, he's still racing. Probably about two months ago at Lime Rock, Connecticut, he raced. It was in the rain, but it was a professional Trans Am race. And he finished fourth overall. And he's running against guys that are less than half his age. On race days, it's all business. After hours, the coach is Peter's private domain. Been a busy year, but this is the best time of the season. Alone, on my couch, watching TV, and eating Newman's own popcorn. I love it. And a final word on the coach? It's a great comfort to have one around, I gotta tell you that. 